Originally, when we did the ending for The Last of Us, it was one long cinematic instead of you picking up Ellie and playing through it and running through the hospital. So that how it played out was Joel burst into the, into the operating room, sees Ellie there uh, on the operating table with three doctors surrounding her. He grabs one of them hostage, yells at the other dude to get away from Ellie. Marlene walks into the room. Her. Get away from her! You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? Then we see Joel uh, shoots and kills the surgeon, shoots and kills the other two doctors, and shoots Marlene. Uh, and you know, it was one of the most pivotal moments in the story, and we had to get it right, make sure the tone was right, all the characters and motivations were coming through. So we did multiple takes, more than we usually do for a scene. Uh, and Troy Baker, who played Joel, was really into it. Like A lot of times he like burst into the operating room, and he'd drop his gun. God damn it. And he'd be like, oh, sorry, and he'd kind of like back out, and we'd restart the scene. And over the course of the day of shooting it, like that happened, two or three times and it became kind of, kind of a joke. Can I pick it up? Sorry. Sorry. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. But after like seven takes, we got it. We had a really solid performance, so we felt like we could, we could ship the game with that. But I felt like, okay, let's do one more, just to kind of end our day. So I took Merle Dandridge aside. Merle Dandridge is the actress that played Marlene. And I asked her, um, I gave her one line of direction, which will become obvious what I asked her to do once you see the scene. Uh, and I'm like, can you do this with the scene? She's like, yeah, yeah, of course. I'm like, all right, don't tell anyone. Just keep that to yourself. And then I went over to Troy Baker and I said, hey, listen, um, we don't have it yet. Uh, we're getting close, but I, I, it needs to be more intense and it needs more energy. He's like, okay, okay, I got it. And I'm like, you know what? And like, be careful with the gun. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I won't drop it. I'm like, well, but even if you do, Play the scene out. Don't start it from the beginning. He's like, yeah, Neil, I, I know, I know, but I won't drop it. I'm like, yeah, but if you do, play it through. He's like, I got, it. I got it, Neil. I'm like, you know what? No matter what happens in the scene, don't stop. Play it all the way through. He's like, Neil, I got it. I'm like, okay, all right. So then walked over to the side and yelled action. And you're about to see the results of that. But keep in mind, Troy Baker, nobody else except for Merle has any idea what's about to happen. Everything is improvised. Enjoy. Get away from her! Get away! You can't save her! Even if you get her out of here, what then? What then? She'll be raped and murdered. Raped and murdered. It's not for you to decide. It's what she'd want. It's what she'd want. And you know it, Joel. You know it, Joel. What am I feeling? So much confusion. I've got a man in my arms and a girl with a gun to my head. But there she is on the table. Is she alive? Is she alive? Look dead? at her, Joe. Look at her. You can still do the right thing, Joel. No. Ah! Just come after her. Come on, Ellie. We gotta go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get you out of here. They're coming soon. And I will let you die. Your brain is worth more alive. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.